first company is Bowery Valuation. Bowery Valuation is redefining the commercial appraisal space through big data, advanced technology, and extensive expertise. Prior to co-founding Bowery, John Meadows worked at uh, Leitner Group, now BBG, the largest independent appraisal firm in New York City. In his four plus years there, he valued over $3 billion of commercial property across all asset types. Please welcome John Meadows, co-founder and co-CEO. exciting sector of commercial real estate, at least according to my parents. Um, so real estate is a very, very large industry, and yet it has not been exactly the fastest to adopt new technologies, as everyone in this room probably, is, probably knows. However, we started to see some really major progress in the last five to 10 years. Um, and leasing and asset management, which used to be all based in Excel sheets, now you have BTS, which recently was valued at over a billion dollars. In um, property compliance, which used to be you know, pen and paper and files stacked up in storage rooms, now you have it digitized with cycle file. Um, office cleaning used to be calling up a cleaning service that you found, I guess, in the yellow pages, and trying to make sure that there was someone in your office every single night. And now you have managed by two. This is what commercial appraisal still looks like today. It's actually not a perfectly accurate visualization because the built-in office space is far younger than a typical appraiser, but other than that, I've seen many offices that look exactly like this photo. The process for appraisers is every single day juggling 10 to 15 different unique sources, all built upon the most innovative technology that exists in our industry from your smallest mom and pop shop, all the way up to your multi-billion dollar companies, like CBRE and Christian Wakefield. I mean, CBRE and Christian Wakefield. Those technologies that are the greatest innovations that our industry has seen are Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. Those came out of over 30 years ago. It's an industry that's incredibly poised and ripe for change. It is a $4.2 billion space, and yet within the massive industry of commercial real estate, it's a relatively small niche that has been ignored and kind of left behind. Uh, only 13% of the market is owned by the top four firms combined. So it's an incredibly fragmented industry. The top players in our space are the large brokerages like CBRE, Cushman Wakefield, JLL, Newmark. However, the valuation arm of those companies is a very, very small part of their business and thus has not received the investment or innovation that other parts of, especially the, the brokerage part, has received. 75% of appraisal firms are sole proprietors. And the demographics of the space are what's really, really clear. 62% of appraisers in this country are over the age of 50 years old. And the average MAI, your MAI is within the appraisal space, what the MD is in the medical world, or the JD is in the legal world. The average MAI is 67 years old. And so the reason we've seen no innovation is exactly the demographics. It's an incredibly vain, broken, and fix it mentality. Um, the owner of my former company, potentially the wealthiest commercial appraiser in the country at this point, uh, used to call Noah, my co-founder, I in his office, and ask us, how do I add these two numbers up in an Excel sheet? And we would say, I can't believe you're making $6 million a year, but it's this plus equals this plus this. <laughs> And so it's a real problem in our space because if you talk to any of our, our clients or the lenders primarily, and you ask them about the perception of the appraisal world, it's, it's really not a positive. Um, these reports take a tremendously long time to be turned around. They cost thousands of dollars and typically take three, four, five weeks with a tremendous amount of delays as part of that kind of consistent process. You get a really low quality product. So appraisers are paid typically as a percentage of their fees. So their incentives are going to finish report as fast as they possibly can while delivering a, a, a quality product that's basically just good enough that they won't get fired. But the tools that they have to produce the reports are a Word document linked to an Excel sheet. An Excel sheet has 50 different tabs filled with data about one, two, three, four, or five other properties, because it's a template that's built on and built on. And a Word document that was an appraisal that's over 120 pages long, written about a completely different asset. To try to update those two things with all these different manual sources that you're pulling in, is incredibly difficult, especially up against this time clock, and leads to huge inaccuracies in valuations, 
in the defense and explanations of the valuations. These reports are absolutely crucial to the lending process. Any loan over $500,000 requires this appraisal, and it's really the safety net on this multi-hundred billion dollar commercial lending industry. Additionally, the delivery of these reports is a PDF document. At the end of the day, a client pays thousands of dollars for the appraisal, they get a PDF document, and that's all they get. Now, the appraisal is also by far the richest collection of subject level data of, of any document at all for real estate. Again, these reports are over 120 pages long. And yet that data is being buried and lost in these PDFs and not extractable by our clients, not extractable internally by our appraisers either. Finally, it's an industry, it's really, it is a service industry, and yet there's a tremendous lack of service and hospitality in our space, both just based on kind of how the industry is historically operated, and also there's no tools that are built to allow for more streamlined communication between the appraisers and the clients. On the appraiser's side, there's a tremendous amount of time being wasted. Having to juggle all these sources and use these antiquated tools leads to about 60 to 70% of our time being spent on manual data entry and busy work. Finally, that last piece, the data piece, is really, really crucial. Again, the appraisal is this incredibly rich collection of data, and it's all being buried in Excel sheets, these Word docs, these PDF documents, and the access the appraiser gets is really incredible. On every single property that we appraise, we have to walk through the building, walk through every unit, at least every vacant unit, uh, through the basement, see the mechanical systems onto the roof, and we're collecting every single physical trait that's relevant to the value of that property as a data point. However, the way it currently works today is just scribbling notes in a notepad, and transcribing those into a Word document, in prose form, that's really not data at all. Then we have access to proprietary rent rolls, historical expenses, all the tax information, all the zoning information we have to collect as part of that report, and ultimately we determine the value of that property. And yet that data is not being used by our clients in any meaningful way, because there's no way to extract it from these PDF documents. So that's why Noah and I started back. Um, back in 2011, we entered our careers in the commercial appraisal industry, uh, really as a, as a means of kind of getting this fundamental education in real estate, you know, our thinking, to, if we can value every commercial asset in New York City, in the largest real estate market in the country, every day talking to brokers, talking to lenders, to developers, owners, then you know, there's so much we can do in real estate. And yet for us, when we entered into this space back in 2011, uh, we felt like we were stepping out of a time machine in 1985. So we spent four years there, uh, met with our co-founder, Caesar, and kind of told him our vision of, of this modern appraisal firm built upon technology for the first time ever. And we showed him how we were doing things. And his second reaction was, I had no idea industries like this still existed. I'm kind of in this bubble of, of engineering of, machine learning and AI, and to see a $4 billion space where the most innovative technologies are working itself, I had, I had no clue these opportunities were out there. That was his second reaction. His first reaction was, I cannot believe that you guys did this every single day for four years. <clears throat> so what Noah and I set out to build with Caesar is the first truly tech-enabled, truly modern, vertically integrated commercial appraisal. So we built an end-to-end -end software solution. Um, the easiest way to think about it probably is TurboTax for appraisers, uh, a much more complicated version of that because an appraisal report is far longer than your tax report. But what used to be built you know, manually in Excel, similar to taxes, we've, we've built a mobile application, an end-to-end -end web application to allow our appraisers to produce reports far more efficiently and far more intelligently at every step of the entire process. So our streamlined appraisal workflow, we use our software internally, where we've pulled all of this information into one singular platform and eliminated all of that busy work, that 60%, 70% of the appraiser's day, that used to be spent on manual data. And everything we do is we reinforce it. So the way we think about our business is through this flywheel here. That if we build improved software, we're going to produce better appraisals. Produce them faster, produce them higher quality, and at a lower cost. If we produce better appraisals, we will increase client happiness, and thus our clients will order more appraisals from us. But every single appraiser that is ordered, we collect more data. And all of that data is passively database in our, in our systems, such that that data allows us to then continue to improve our software, and thus our flywheel exists. <coughs> this today is our number one tech competitor. This is a legitimate screenshot from their online demo. And so, in the world we're playing right now, there's really no one else building any sort of meaningful technology. This is a report writing tool called Narrative One that when my company <coughs> sold to BBG, uh, they told us, like, all right, we're rolling out you know, the most innovative software now, and we have this national firm, and all you guys get, get you know, the, the hottest new software in the appraisal world. This is what they had to start using 
And no, and I've literally used this for a week. We're like, our Excel sheets and Word docs we've built up over the last three years ourselves in the 10 minutes of spare time we have not appraising is better than this. And so that's how we do it. It was, it was really time to, to start something and, and start to change the industry. This is what Valerie looks like. So this is our mobile application. This is a, a page from our, our web applications, about 50 different tabs that the appraiser moves through uh, page by page, and we'll exports to generate the appraisal report. So now I'm going to walk you through a little kind of example of the day in the life of the appraiser at one of the larger appraisal firms in the country where Tom used to work, and we'll show you the counterexample of what his day is like. So unfortunately, I can't give you guys the uh, full rundown of the appraisal because we don't have about 10 plus hours here, but we'll, we'll give you guys a little, a little short. Um, so Tom wakes up at 9 a.m. and has to go inspect the farm. Goes out there with a little notepad, goes drives out to the Bronx, takes a tour of the property, sees five units, gets into the basement, gets on the roof, scribbling notes on his notepad, has to get back to the office, oh, taking photos on his iPhone as well. Has to get back to the office, download the photos from his phone, upload those into a folder, now start formatting each individual photo, there's about 20 photos in an appraisal, into a Word document where he's cropping it and putting a little border around it and labeling it bedroom and kitchen and bathroom. And then taking his notepad and transcribing those notes that he has into a you know, five page building description about that property. Now it's already 11 days. Then Tom has to do the manual data entry for you. He has to go to 10 different websites, enter all his tax information in, all his zoning information, print screen the tax map, the zoning map, enter in the gross building area, the year built, found from all these different websites, into his Excel sheet, linking that to his Word document. This takes Tom to one people. Now Tom has to search for comps. Unfortunately, there is no intelligent databasing in Word and Excel or in the commercial appraisal industry. So Tom can either go to CoStar, print up 25 sales that he's probably seen over 10 to 15 times, and write those up by hand, doing the same thing with rent comps, expense comps, tax comps, cap rate comps. Or he can open up 50 Excel sheets of his colleagues or that he's worked in his past, that he's worked on in the past, and uh, dig through those Excel sheets looking for comps that have already been this will take Tom all the way to 3 p.m. Now this is all in his exception. Now it's time for Tom to go into his 120 page Word document that is an appraisal at a completely different asset and update that Word document to make sense of his new property. So handwriting the same descriptions and the same reconciliations that he's done countless times. This will take Tom to 6 p.m. Now, because these reports are relied on by banks for multi-million dollar loans, and if you have one single number mistake in there, it can throw a value off by millions of dollars and potentially lose you a massive client, he has to make sure to really thoroughly review that report based on the tools that he had to produce it. So now Tom is taking over 10 plus hours to write this commercial appraisal. Now that appraisal, uh, that, that appraisal in 10 plus hours is an actually incredibly fast version. These typically take about three weeks to be delivered. But now Tom works it out. So now Tom has our mobile application when he's on site. By the time he gets back to his office, all the photos are automatically formatted in his Word document, and every single physical trait has been um, inputted based on you know, various selections he makes on the inspection, and the entire building description for each form is natural language generation. We've got raised it a little bit, but we'll press for time. Um, now with public record integration, we've eliminated all the manual data. We're integrated with Department of Finance, integrated with zoning and land use, so all the property information is pulled in automatically when he types in his address into our website. Now Thomas comp search. Every single comp that ever enters our platform through any report that him or his colleagues have written <coughs> is available in our map-based searches as a click open. Now there's natural language generation. We've eliminated all that, all the handwriting of analysis, of descriptions, of reconciliations, and Tom can get through that by 12 30. Now review, because every single report is produced from scratch about that specific asset, the review process is incredibly streamlined, knowing that all the math is correct every single time, and all the languages about the specific property of Tom will agree. Now, now Tom finally has time for lunch. Tom can get sushi. He loves sushi. <laughs> the best part is, it's still only 2.30. So Tom can write an entirely other appraisal that same day and still get home in time for And this is a concept, this is a little visualization, visualization of what it looks like to work at Bowery versus all of our competitors in the trade industry. Here's a couple of quotes um, from one of our clients, from one of the largest appraisal firms in the country, discussing their experience with us. Um, and any questions you guys have, uh, I know I ran a little over time, so I apologize, but open to any questions. Hopefully, it's not going to keep 